Anyo Aseo, Jake here. Oh. Was that was that pretty good? Was that a You pretty... caught me off guard there. That was awesome. Yaseo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Jake. Uh, that was my attempt at Korean. Apparently, it was pretty good, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I felt it. And uh, today, I have uh, a very special guest. Please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Abby P. I am also a YouTuber here, and I am a teacher in South Korea, currently living here as well. It's me, Abby P. What up, my people? All right. I oh, were you expecting right. me to do that? All right. No, 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 no. I promise I will never do that again because. No, that's fine. You did it like better than I would have. <laughs> I didn't want to be lame and, you know, like do my intro on your channel. <laughs> no. So that's why I did your intro on my channel. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, <laughs> <It> I. <was> good. <laughs> so, so as Abby said, she is a teacher. She uh, currently lives in Korea. So it's really cool that mm -hmm. we can be talking like like 11 hours apart or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, Abby's channel has been uh, very much on the rise. Uh, in fact, when I emailed her like two months ago, she had like 75,000 subscribers and she mm. just hit over 100,000. So congratulations, by the Crazy. way. Thank you. So <laughs> unexpected. But yeah, it's amazing. And so as somebody who's very interested in culture, as you might be able to see from the Japanese wood sword and also... I saw that. The... I was like, hey. Yep. I see a store back there. <laughs> yep, and I also got that. I actually got that picture from a um a prof an English professor who she's uh -huh. from China. Um, she g she gave it to me at at uh college, which was really cool. So that's cool when uh, you put it up on your wall and everything. Mm hmm. So, but mm -hmm. uh, thankfully, we are not here to talk about me. We are here <laughs> we are here to talk <laughs> with Abby about just like just Korean and culture and. Uh, later, I'm going to go into some like, I call it politics, but it's not really politics. It's more so. Like, yeah, that's a scary word. I, it is a scary <laughs> word, but it's it's more so like kind of maybe like things like um, like what is it like having North Korea as a neighbor? Just like things like that. Right. It's not like actual global, global questions, I guess you could call ex it. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Yes. And then personal questions, and then we'll end it off. So that's kind of our formula, and uh, let's Sounds jump good. right into it. Let's do it. All right. So out of the many languages you speak, uh, because mm -hmm. you speak six, if I'm not mistaken. Eh, it's a varying degrees. <laughs> well, you, right. That's true. Yeah, yeah. What made Korean stand out for you the most? It's, it's a hard question, actually, because I can't pinpoint, like, one reason as to why I feel like overall, I just have more of a, a connection with Korea and the culture besides growing up naturally as like, you know, an American and, and my Filipino culture, Korean was always this, this other culture that I had this um, closer connection with among like other cultures. Um, you know, I did Taekwondo growing up and in there we had to speak in Korean, count in Korean. Um, say phrases in Korean, interact with our, our fellow students and teachers, instructors in Korean. Um, and I started that at a very young age up until I was an adult. So there was that Taekwondo, you know, being a Korean martial art. And then I had a lot of Korean friends growing up, um, then eventually got introduced to Korean food, music, you know, K-pop, the dramas, the movies and everything. And then, yeah, so all of my experiences made Koreans stand out for me the most, I guess. That's awesome. Did you honestly <laughs> ever think that you would be living in like another country, like outside of like, I mean, because to me that that must yeah. be a scary thought. At first. Like, if somebody told me, "Oh yeah, yeah Jake, you're going to be living in China," I'd be like, well, "How? Well, how did I get there? You know?" So what? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, um, I feel like at a certain point, maybe when I was in high school, I knew I had wanted to live in another country. Just the thought of it had always excited me because I had, you know, interest in other cultures. And but if you were to tell me that I would I would live in Korea as like a little kid, you know, like little five year old Abby, hey, you're <laughs> gonna be in Korea as an adult, I'd be like, wow, really? What? You know? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Regarding um, language, because I mean that's yeah. another scary thing too, is because I mean you mm -hmm. have this whole other language, and I know yes. you, you know, that's the one thing is that a lot of your videos 
I try to make sure I ask some like new things that hopefully some of your videos didn't, <laughs> you know, hasn't been said. So hopefully there's like new things for your followers as yeah, well. Yeah, no, these are great. Yeah, great questions. Um, do you think that learning another language makes it easier to learn like a even a third language or a fourth in mm -hmm. the future? Mm -hmm, for sure, for sure. Because after you learn one language and then another language, you get the hang of the process of how to learn languages. And then it's generally the same process with, with whatever language that you decide to tackle next. You know, you have your basic, like learning whatever writing system there is, and then um, getting the basic like grammar, vocabulary down. Okay, good. And then you start immersing yourself like in the language, whether it's traveling to the country or listening to music in that language, you know, dramas, movies, whatever media. So yeah, it definitely gets easier. Awesome. So speaking mm -hmm. of music, um, Yes. And I do you have you heard of BTS or Blackpink? <laughs> have I heard of BTS? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I I love both. Yeah, both of them. Um, I'd say as far as like K-pop groups go, they're the big ones right now. They're the hot ones. Um, I don't really follow K-pop uh, anymore. I used to, but definitely BTS uh, is my number one. And then Blackpink is cool too. If there was a girl group that I would follow, it would be Blackpink. They're legit. They're, I mean, I have to say, um, so I listened to uh, a Blackpink song. It's called like, yeah. do, 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 do. Um, oh, yeah. And <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> hit you, hit you with that. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Hit you with that. Do, 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 do. Yeah. How'd you, <laughs> what'd you think of that? Um, I, well, I actually had heard that song in a video of someone named um, uh, Jeffo, but he's this very <laughs> interesting character. <laughs> but um, oh. I actually, even though like I don't understand the lyrics, they're actually very yeah. catchy, and their yes, formula, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, their their formula is really incredible because they have I think like four girls. Yep, and one it's like really impressive, like one one of them raps and then another yes. of them another one of them sings and is very like, mm -hmm. lighthearted then another goes and has a strenuous like a like they sing like very it's deeper or like long yeah right and it's actually voice, yeah. and even though i don't understand the lyrics it's actually very impressive like i actually really like their music and again i don't know what mm -hmm. what's being said <laughs> so yeah. um it's it's honestly really cool how like because i think that's one thing is about like the u.s i feel like the u.s news is like and like mm -hmm. celebrities are always kind of like the spotlight but it's kind of cool to yes. see a spotlight like under like korean music like yeah at, but globally yeah. so i really globally, like that yeah. a lot like you know bts and blackpink they're they're cool <laughs> so yeah it's like this crazy phenomenon that it just catches you off guard that these groups are so huge now and i would have never thought like years ago when i was like super into k-pop that they would be like these global phenomenons that are really like taking over the world for real right absolutely yeah. um so speaking of um korea because that's what i'm mm -hmm. like i'm i love that i can like talk about this it's really yeah. cool <laughs> um what so, like, what are some of, like, the best places to, like, eat there, would you say? Like, give me, like, if you could give me, like, three restaurants that, that if somebody oh. visits Korea, like, where do they have to go? Mm. Like, well, uh, this is me sort of, like, spotlighting my hometown here in Korea. But I live in a city called Andong. It's, okay. like, in the center of Korea, three hours away from Seoul. And we have this native dish here, our special Andong dish. It's called Jimdak. Jimdak. So it's basically like a steamed braised chicken dish mm. served in um this soy sauce based sauce mixed with a bunch of veggies. You got potatoes, oh, some noodles in there. It's good. usually <laughs> served in a huge dish too. And normally it's spicy, but you can get it less spicy. I always get it less spicy for when my friends or family come and visit. Mm. But I definitely recommend that. Like you have to try that. It's like our our native like specialty here in my city awesome okay cool yeah. i um you know it's funny you made a video with uh jong-un um your 
boyfriend or did i pronounce that right jong-un jong-un yeah okay yeah yeah uh, yeah jong-un yeah jong-un right um sorry <laughs> believe no, 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 me i'm not even i'm not even good at pronouncing english words so that's <laughs> oh no you're fine don't worry about it <laughs> but um <laughs> I saw that video where you guys were eating like the the chicken like um oh so yeah Korean fried chicken is its its own whole thing here <laughs> oh my gosh like I was watching your video and you yeah. know that video is like a half an hour long and just for a half an hour at like <laughs> two in the morning I was like I really want Korean KFC like so badly like okay it, it, yeah it, it so was like... Korean fried chicken is like it's on a whole other plane <laughs> <laughs> it yeah it it honestly looked really good and um mm -hmm. I have had like Korean barbecue um at this place that's oh. in um new york i mean obviously it's not the same as having it in korea but mm -hmm. it's pretty good and mm -hmm. uh lots of spices and i really yes it's a lot of side dishes and stuff at, right absolutely and it's really mm -hmm. good so i would definitely um i'd love to go to korea though and actually like try it there yeah that's, and the, would... the interesting thing about the the korean barbecue um here in korea there's so many like barbecue places like everywhere they're like right next to each other sometimes too and we don't here in korea they don't call it like korean barbecue obviously they just call it meat like let's go eat meat let's go get meat <laughs> oh okay awesome. cool yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's awesome so def yeah definitely go get some some meat <laughs> <laughs> all right very awesome yeah, they're everywhere mm -hmm. so now that we know you know where to go to eat in korea is there any place like like, mm -hmm. if somebody were traveling to Korea, would you say that, like, wh where's, like, one place you would recommend somebody go if it were, like, a landmark or, like, a convention or, like, mm -hmm. where or architecture? Like, where do they have to, like, make sure they go? Yeah, I guess if it were one place, um, I usually, if my friends or family or relatives come visit, I'll usually have them, first of all, try on the Korean traditional dress. We'll oh. go and rent one of those because that's always really fun. And then we'll go to uh, a really big palace in Seoul. It's called the Gyeongbok Palace. Oh, and wow. it's this huge like area. You, you walk through all of these different um, places in the palace. And it's just, I think it makes for really fun, like cultural Korean experience. That, so I recommend that place. <laughs> that's awesome. So you yeah. had said a... um address now i forgive me as i'm i'm actually just learning korean culture and i don't know everything sure. about it is the dress similar to like a kimono in looks or is it nothing like Ooh. that at all so <laughs> that's a good question because i've tried wearing both like a kimono or yukata which is like the summer kimono mm. and uh, the hanbok the, the korean traditional dress too and uh, honestly they're so different they're both so different like the kimono first of all you're like you're really stuck in there. You're like, <laughs> really, it's like a kind of corset oh, type okay. feeling. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's not as like comfortable as it might look. It does but look the comfortable. <laughs> the humbugs are really comfortable because <laughs> they're so um, wide and so light, and they're I I just recommend wearing the the hanbok, the Korean hanbok, if you want to be comfortable and also look beautiful. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Definitely. <laughs> I yeah. I had on your Instagram there was a picture where I think you you might be taking a picture like with I, I'm assuming it's your father and it there's like a palace oh, yeah. in the background. If, yeah, yeah, that's and me and my dad. That mm -hmm. looked like that looked so cool. Like that That's the place. That's the place, the Kyungbook Palace. Oh my gosh, yeah. it was it was beautiful. And the um the corset or you know um yeah the humble the, the korean dress the mm -hmm. korean dress it, it honestly mm -hmm. looked very pretty it's really cool oh so. thanks yeah and there's like so many different colors you can like customize how you wear it it's really fun awesome. so i recommend, recommend you do that yeah oh my gosh i now i <laughs> i would love to visit that palace that sounds so yeah awesome. <laughs> um but actually, there's something about flights. I'm definitely going to talk to you about the end. Because oh, yes. I, yeah, let's talk about flights. But I'm I... talk about flights, too. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll definitely talk about flights uh, later because that's my one problem with traveling. But before I get okay. to that, I mm -hmm. want to... Um, I do want to ask some... I call it political questions, but it's really not. Oh, yes. 
political. Yes. <laughs> um, political. So what is it like being an American Filipino in South Korea? Or are... It's, sorry. Mm-hmm. No, 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 go for it. Oh, no, I was just going to say, so from what I've seen from your videos, um, mm-hmm. I like that you are a no-nonsense kind of person, in a way. Like, you oh, like, to, like you can joke thanks. around, obviously, <laughs> and yeah. and myself included, but it's like you also yeah. know when to be serious, and I like that yeah, because I'm yeah. also the same way. And yes. I know that many of your um, videos, you do address, like, important, like, issues or things like, yes. like, um... I was actually very sad to hear that, uh, you know, when you lived in the United States, like you felt that mm-hmm. maybe sometimes people spoke down at you because you mm. were Filipino. Mm. And I was just curious if there was any kind of like, if you've ever encountered any kind of like prejudice or, or you've ever yeah. felt that way in Korea as well. Yeah. So all, first of all, uh, when I do get asked where I'm from, uh, I will tell Koreans I'm from America. You know, that's where I grew up. That's the culture that I'm most familiar with. And that answer is like, it's not enough. They sort of look at me like, oh, you're from America? That wasn't the answer I was expecting. <sighs> so where are you like really, you know, where are you really from? Because you will get that in, in the States too, right? Like, okay, no, but where are you really from? Right. Yeah, so... And then I'll explain to them further, oh, well, you know, my parents are Filipino. I was also born in the Philippines, um, but I grew up in America from like when I was one and and all these other things. Um, But as far as like prejudice or or racism in Korea, thankfully, I haven't experienced any sort of like serious racism from Koreans that I've that I've felt. I, I haven't personally felt like attacked or anything because of my race. It's more so the comments that I get online, because, you know, people behind the computer screen, they're a lot more, you oh, know, they think honest, they're tough. And, and they can say whatever they want to say, those <laughs> keyboard warriors or whatever. So the funny thing is I will get more racist comments from from people like on the Internet <laughs> versus right. like here in Korea in, in real life. Oh, I, and mm. and even, you know, even though my channel is very small, I've I've mm-hmm. also even gotten comments that it's like, Oh gosh. People people would never say that to me in person. Exactly, right? I'm like, okay, well, come say it to my face, bro. I, I doubt you. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like they yeah. I totally agree, because they would never say that to you in yeah. person. And it's like, so yeah. why would you say if you're Exactly. Exactly. You, Can't we just all respect each other? Okay. <laughs> I I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. That's like if you can't say it in person, don't say it on the internet. Yeah, if you can't say anything nice, just don't say it at all. <laughs> Honestly, truth. That is very true. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Um, so my next question is, um, yes. so are people in Korea, like, spiritual? Because, like, I know that in um, mm-hmm. some Asian countries, uh, yeah. they some of them, like, are and some of them aren't. And it's kind of like mm-hmm. a difficult like i guess just barrier to understand and i was just curious Mm -hmm. if like people in korea like if they went to the palace or if they went to like if there were any kind of like religious uh shrines or anything like that right right yes i get where you're coming from because um in japanese culture there's shintoism which is the big religion there and when i went to japan i i totally felt like japan was was a lot more spiritual actually um compared to korea because in korea you know, there's so many different kinds of religions. Um, people who don't know a lot about Korea would be surprised actually to find that there are a lot of Christians here. Christians, Protestants, um, Catholics oh, wow. are, are the big religions. Um, and then there's also like, you know, some Buddhists as well. There, You'll see Buddhist temples. Um, yeah, so it, there's a lot of different kinds of religions here in Korea. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. cool. I, mm-hmm. I always like... I think that's one thing I always love, like, about, especially about the United States, is that there's lots of, like, blends of culture. And I think it's really cool because especially it goes into food and everybody loves food, right? So, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, food is always number one. (laughs) (laughs) So, it's definitely like, so that's really cool. I honestly, I wasn't expecting that answer. That's really cool to see. Okay. That yeah. It's very yeah. like diverse. Well, I'm glad and... I got to enlighten. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, yeah. that's so cool. Cause like I, cause I've been learning about Japan and I, and I 
yeah. and Shintoism and I yeah. see that people are very spiritual in terms of the shrines. But then I was mm -hmm. um, in in China or at least in the bigger cities. Um, yes. They're not so much, but it's more so the smaller villages. Right. Um, right. Which I just thought was really cool. And so, again, mm -hmm. I'm just sort of learning about korean uh or korea excuse me through you so it's really cool to you know get to know that that's awesome um so um of course my um there's by the way there is uh i apologize because there is oh. construction going on of course now of like you know any time right oh no worries <laughs> my cat might be like meowing and stuff <laughs> We I all got some stuff going on in the background, right? <laughs> I I saw him in the back. I um, oh, did you see? Did you see him? Just about the back there. Well, just for like no, a that's... yeah, like I just saw a tail <laughs> walk by. But um, <laughs> what's <laughs> so actually that is one of my questions. Um, yes. one thing one thing I noticed, like or at least always being in the United States, like people are always walking their dogs, or people have like very strange pets. <laughs> um <laughs> do do people in korea like are like do they have pets or like is like because i i mm -hmm. know that's a weird question and i know it may no seem, it's not that's a good question i know it may seem silly but like i feel like i've never seen no. people with animals i guess if that makes sense mm -hmm. I, but what do you know you're you're right you're right because when when i'm in the states it's a lot more common to see people out with their dogs like everywhere and when and with lo a lot of people with a lot of dogs <laughs> but here in korea um it's not as common yeah you're you're actually right about that uh and if they do have dogs they're usually small you don't see a lot of big dogs here because the south korea is a lot smaller and so in the living spaces as well more people live in apartments versus like large houses Oh, okay. So, yeah, the space is not enough to provide for, like, a, a larger dog. So you would see, I would say, more cat owners here. And the same goes for Japan, I think, as well, because the smaller living spaces make better homes for, for cats versus dogs, I'd say. Oh, my gosh. I'm already – I already love Korea already. Um, <laughs> cat people. I, yeah, I'm, a, I'm – honestly, I have one dog and one cat, but I was growing up mm -hmm. a cat person. So I'm a little more team cat, but <laughs> yeah, after having two cats, I, I'm also don't tell my dogs back home, but yeah, after having my two, my two babies, I'm leaning towards team cat as well. <laughs> so, so I know you've traveled a lot, of, a lot of places. I know you told me, um, you've been to Japan. What are your yeah. top three favorite places to travel? Definitely home, the U.S., mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that's one. Japan, I love traveling to Japan. I've been there several times already, and I always want to go back. I'm already having, like, those feelings of, oh, I need to go back to Japan again. Like, <laughs> I miss it. Or, yeah, so definitely Japan. And then the third one, what was the third one? Of course, the Philippines, yes, because that's obviously my native home country, and I love just seeing my, my relatives and just the – the people of my culture it's such a really cool feeling to go back there that's awesome yeah, and experience that yeah so what so where are three places you want to travel that you haven't been Ooh, three <laughs> places so it's it's really hard but I, I had to like narrow it down um the first one is italy i've always wanted to go to italy since i was younger because i'm such a fan of just like the food obviously <laughs> <laughs> the the architecture just the the history the culture um and the sightseeing and everything of course so italy's one um and then ooh, what was the second one uh egypt i want to go to egypt mm -hmm. i want to like explore more about the middle east and and just the culture over there so definitely egypt uh, and third one, let's go with New Zealand. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, because I want to see all of the and the green and nature and the soaring fields. <laughs> That's awesome. The lambs. Do they have lambs there too? <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think what they have like. For? Yeah, absolutely. Goats or lambs or something. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of four-legged hooved animal. <laughs> <laughs> Four, sort of four-legged hooved creature. <laughs> I um, I'm gonna answer that question myself because i actually have Ooh, yeah. similar i never thought that um i'd actually 
hear somebody else say Egypt because Egypt is actually my number <gasps> one place I've always wanted to go. Really? Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, I, that was really why, cool. Why, why, why? I want to know why now. So the reason <laughs> I want to see Egypt is because I – I just like I love the architecture, like the pyramids, the Yeah, so much so much history. There's right, there's just so much history and like I just mm -hmm. think it would just be so cool to just see like because I feel like Egypt, like that's where some of like the oldest civilizations that we yes. know of exist. So like yes. like I would love to go see Egypt. That's actually my number one place I would love to go. That's awesome. Yeah, when I was in sixth grade, actually, we had this whole unit about just Egypt. Mm -hmm. And I remember being so, like, fascinated as little, I don't know, 11, 12-year-old me, like, wow, Egypt is so cool. And then I found out there's actually, a, uh, like, a job, official job title of uh, Egyptologist. Have you heard of that? There's actually, like, not. Egyptologists. And then wow. I was like... I was like, wow, I'm going to be an Egyptologist when I grow up because I was so fascinated <laughs> by the culture. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's so awesome. there's another option there. <laughs> this whole teaching job doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really cool. I did not know that there were Egyptologists, but I that sounds yeah. like something. I don't know if they still exist, but that's what I learned when I was in sixth grade. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I, to I would love mm -hmm. to go to Egypt. Uh, England, cool. England for sure. Um, okay, England, just that's a good one just because of architecture and um yeah. and then maybe italy or germany somewhere in between because i that's oh, part yeah, of germany yeah i that's germany is a good one mm. yeah germany would be cool um that's part of my heritage i'm italian and german so um cool so, okay that's awesome yeah that i mean it's, yeah, italy and germany yeah absolutely so those are definitely places i would want to go to but i definitely i also want to go to japan and yeah south korea, korea so. yeah. <laughs> awesome so, awesome countries but um so so as somebody like yourself who who does know so many languages and knows so much about culture um are there any cultures you have um that you are currently like interested in or you've been like looking into as of recently or yeah so another one of the languages that i've always been interested in learning is arabic Oh, cool. And so that's also big. Yeah, that's also a big reason why I'm like interested in Egyptian culture, too, um, is I think the language is like so cool. The, the Arabic, you actually read from right to left. Oh, and okay. just the, 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 the language sounds so beautiful. The writing is really cool. So definitely, yeah, Arabic and, and like Middle East culture, I'd say, is some something I'm interested in right now. Awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So that's that's mm -hmm. kind of my for people who are here on culture. That's kind of where my culture segment ends. And now I'm gonna kind of go into just very briefly, um, just kind of yes. like personal things. Um, sure. For you, so one thing I noticed is mm -hmm. that uh, you purchased a Nintendo Switch recently. Uh, Woo! Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I, I also have one. It's a great console. Yes, um, isn't it? oh it it really is like the fact that yeah. you can just like take it out and like play with it yeah. on the go is pretty incredible mm -hmm. what um are there any games that well first of all what's like do you have like a top three favorite games or two games on the switch of course yeah that's easy uh legend of zelda breath of the wild super smash brothers like those are the top like two reasons i i assume anyone would buy the nintendo <laughs> switch for zelda and smash brothers right yeah <laughs> yeah those um, and then... mm -hmm. no no so i'm sorry right and then one more no, no, no. uh what else uh, what else did i play recently um um oh tetris tetris that's a, like a really hot one right now too <laughs> tetris 99 I'm, but I, I'm still really bad at it. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> so I can't work with the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I haven't played that. I I mm -hmm. do want to play that though because that does look really good. Um, yeah, try that one. Breath of the Wild is amazing. Um, yes. Smash Bros is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um. I definitely would say if you haven't tried it, Super Mario Odyssey, really good. <gasps> Okay, so you know what? There, I saw there, there's a sale going on right now until June 18th. There I, are games that are like half off and stuff. I saw Odyssey and I was like, hmm, that might be one of the ones I'm going to get actually. If So if you recommend it, then I 
definitely go <laughs> oh my gosh when i was playing mario odyssey i felt like uh -huh. i went back in time to when i was like four years old and i played oh. super mario 64 for the first time oh like, man that's a classic one too so that's and i know and i recently saw that um, on Instagram, you had said, like, DK64 yeah. is one of your favorite games. Yeah, that, and, that was a really fun one, too. And that's, yeah, that's how, it's very similar, like, that platforming, goofy, mm -hmm. funny kind of game. So you would def I highly recommend Mario Odyssey. Okay, cool, sure. cool. Okay, I'll add that to my list then. <laughs> um, so, what's it called? So, actually, another thing I noticed is that um, yes. you're also into cosplay, which is really cool, Ooh, as yes. I I am as well. Um, Ooh, yay. I, <laughs> I've done some cosplay reviews, although I haven't done them oh, in a yeah. while. But, um, yeah, I, I've seen your videos, actually. I, I watched a couple of your cosplay reviews. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. you know. You don't see a lot of videos like that. And I was like, hey, this is actually, this is nice. Well, it's definitely, um, you know, it's, <laughs> well, I think that's <laughs> the thing is that it's like, some people the cosplay community is very um you know it's like you have lots of young adults and teens who like yeah. to see the the armor and then you have the 40 year old men who are there for a different reason and we try <laughs> to block out those people um yeah. <laughs> so i try to um yeah i try to cater to my people <laughs> you know on the yeah other side. no and i really do like how your reviews were very they were just so nice and and not and not directed towards the, the forty year old like right no of course because for it's the like, reasons that yeah we we already know <laughs> right exactly and yeah. that's the thing is that they're like, very respect yeah very respectful and, and just I, I like them they they were really good thank you thank you very much yeah mm -hmm. I mean because you know yes it's it's um you know it's really cool to like see like these armors and like it's just I, yeah i love it's like incredible mm -hmm. and one thing i noticed on your instagram you cosplayed as cora and oh cora yeah i love cora and <laughs> avatar is my favorite animated series by far me too me too avatar. and <laughs> it's yeah. so good um mm -hmm. how were you um how were you introduced to cosplay Ooh, I don't or even really know exactly. It it could have been like I was just scrolling through some some forum. It could have been some like any like anime or avatar related forum or a thread. And then I just saw pictures and then I was like, whoa, what is this? This looks cool. I want to try it. So I did it. That's <laughs> awesome. that's pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. No, I mean, sometimes like. Like sometimes you just get this like like this urge you're like you know what i saw yeah. that i want to do it like yeah I, um, yeah it was exactly that <laughs> i yeah i've totally gotten that like i saw um like this guy's name his name is gusma he's from pokemon sun uh -huh. and moon and he, he he has like white hair and he's like this Ooh. gangster and i was like and you're you know like what? i want to do i want to cosplay that guy <laughs> yeah and i was like i don't know why but yes. i just want to cosplay him so yeah yeah that's really you see characters and you're just like wow i want to be that character i want to do it. yeah I, I totally get it. Absolutely. And I mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool because I saw on your um I'm assuming it's an older channel, but it's called Bye Bye mm -hmm. Zombie. And Oh yes. <laughs> um you had done like uh voice acting, which by the way was really well done. Um oh my gosh, thank you. That video was so old, but thank you very much for watching that. <laughs> I know because I, I, I did notice that it was it had been made a long time ago, but honestly, yeah. uh it impressed me. Like I wasn't expecting Oh thanks. <laughs> yeah, you did such a really good job. And I don't even it was on like League of Legends characters, but um Yeah, yeah, right. I League haven't even played league of legends but i know some of the voices and yeah you did a great mm -hmm. job um <laughs> what <laughs> yeah no problem but uh what made you transition from your youtube channel of bye bye zombie to abby p oh that's a really good question actually because not I, I don't think i've told like any of my viewers this so this is going to be some like juicy stuff right now but uh <laughs> <laughs> all for your channel <laughs> awesome <laughs> um but Bye Bye Zombie, at the time I made those videos, I was actually in a very like dark place, like behind the scenes, you know. Uh, I was like, there was a lot of insecurities and um, I was going through like depression at the time. 
And so the reason why I wanted to, trans to transition from Bye Bye Zombie to my new channel, AVP, obviously was to have a, a new fresh start. And I feel like I've grown a lot from that person who was on my Bye Bye Zombie channel to be who I am now and who I've been in the, in the last recent years. So it's definitely, yeah, it was, it was a new transition and sort of just like this new purpose for me <laughs> to start my new channel. So that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, first of all, thank you for sharing that because that takes a lot to, you know, to come out and say, and, yeah. um, to let you know, you're not alone. I've done the same oh. thing. Um, I mm -hmm. actually was going through just a brief period where like, I was like deleting YouTube channels and then creating new ones mm. thinking like, Oh, it has to be this name. I have to upload this content. And I just, um, yeah. like, I, I just want to say like, I can, um, empathize with you because I oh, like, yeah. I've also been through the depression and, um, the anxiety. Mm -hmm. And so, Oh yeah. Lots of anxiety. <laughs> so you're, you're definitely not alone when, uh, you say that. So, oh. um, definitely <laughs> yeah so you're not alone you know we all definitely you know and all and honestly you have an awesome channel now so it's it's oh, clearly yeah, worked I... out <laughs> so but um yeah i think that now that we've i th i think that uh because we've been talking a long time and there were so many other questions um, oh yeah i wanted to ask but i think i'm going mm -hmm. to either I'll make a interview part two or I'll, uh, but I'll, I'll cut them <laughs> yeah. for now. But, um, so I'm going to end off with some lighthearted questions, uh, okay. just so we can end on a light note. Um, so what do you believe is the best way to get interested in another culture? Super easy question. The food. <laughs> <laughs> That's, the so food. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. Very yes. true. Um, it's always going to be number one for me is the food. <laughs> um, and I wanted to know, too, uh, was it difficult working and living in Korea when you first moved there? Yes, for sure. For sure. Yeah. You go through, I say it, it happens for most people that come and start living here is the first few months is so overwhelming and you start regretting your decision of even coming here. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay. And you're like, oh man, like this, this was a mistake. Like I, I want to go back home. But once you push through those first few months and then you start to get the hang of things, like it starts to get very comfortable and you're like, wow, this isn't so bad after all. And then you're like, wow, I can actually like keep living here. You know, this is, this is great. So it definitely gets better if you just keep, keep on keeping on, right? Stay positive and yeah, do your best every day. Awesome. <laughs> things will get better. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. That's cool. And especially you're an English teacher. So yes, I mean, sometimes kids can be difficult as it is. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> but I have to say, yeah. you know, those kids look a lot more respectful than the people here. Not to not to shade the, the people oh. here, but <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they've got they they put the teachers here on this like Pedestal, pedestal this other level because they really have to respect the teachers here whereas in in america you can sort of treat your teacher like a friend like hey you know give them a high five like teacher what's up but here <laughs> it's 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 a lot different you got to speak to them a certain way you got to act a certain way you know so it's definitely different awesome mm -hmm. all right so i think that's basically all the questions uh i have to ask oh so there's one oh, more long flight one right Yes. Yes. How, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> what are what are your tips? How how do you survive a long flight? Uh, I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> um, no, because I I try to go back to the states at least once a year on my vacation so I can see home and see my family, of course. Um, but. If you have a Nintendo Switch, definitely bring your Nintendo Switch. Uh, and then bring bring some books to read. Also, what I like to do is uh, you have that like TV screen in front of you. Uh, I like to, right when I get on the plane and we're like seated, I like to scan all the movies, every oh. like all of them and be like, okay, so here's the game plan. I'm going to watch this one and then this one, this one, this one. This one. You got to plan it out. 
that way you won't go crazy on the flight. <laughs> gotcha. Cool. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. And I also like to sit in the aisle, like aisle seat. Okay. Because you want to be able to get up whenever you want to to use the bathroom or walk around, take like stretch and stuff. Yeah. So I that's that's another thing. What else? Uh oh. Fly first class or business class if you can. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's one of my dreams, honestly. Like if I can save the money, I will one day fly first class or business class. Cause that's like the only like surefire way I feel like I could survive a long flight. <laughs> well, that's like as comfortably as I can. <laughs> right. No, I've always wanted to fly. I've always wanted to do the same thing. Just fly first right. class just to say I've tried right. it. But, yeah. But, you can um, like lie down on a bed. Like I, I know they're like crazy Man. nice, but mm -hmm. that's definitely about bringing the switch and planning out, you know, your, <laughs> your movies or shows. That's, a, that's yeah. honestly really good advice. Okay, good. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> so glad, glad to help. <laughs> so Abby, thank you so much uh, for joining me today. Uh, this, no was, worries. this was honestly uh, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, me too. I had a lot of fun too. Thank you so much for <laughs> yeah it wasn't I, I wasn't like as nervous as i thought actually towards towards the end so thank you very much for that. <laughs> absolutely and uh <laughs> thank you guys uh so much for uh listening and watching uh i'm gonna put all of abby p's uh links um in the description so definitely go uh ch check her out and subscribe to her channel um, <laughs> i'll also do vibe by zombie as well um Yay. and um and yeah thank you guys uh so much for watching take care yeah, thanks guys. Bye.